Hi there folks, welcome back to the Evan Andy Fishing Channel, this time featuring <laughs> IB. Yep. Where I've have been, you been? I've been missing for quite a few videos and I am um, sorry about that, but I'm super excited to be back and actually we're fishing again yep. together, that's really cool. First time we've fished together in ages, isn't it? it Particularly is. fly fishing. Yeah, we haven't fished together for way too long. But knowing you and I, it had to be competitive and we're here on the Derbyshire Wye early season to have a little bit of a competition, aren't we? Yes. So it's dry fly only, as you guys probably know by now, we can only fish dries on this place uh, and we're going to go shot for shot, pool for pool, rise for rise, so you can catch the biggest number of fish during the day. Although I be, I have changed one of the rules a little bit. We there we go. <laughs> we made up the rules before we came out and I've already changed them. So I've got in my pack two of these really cool little magnets. And today we each get 60 seconds before we start fishing and we're going to choose six flies that are going to have to last us the whole session. Well, there's me lo losing the Not challenge. at all. It can be six of the same fly, it can be six different flies. As long as they're six dry flies that you're allowed to use on this river, it counts. Are you down for that? What if I lose all six flies? That's you done. Okay. You won't lose six, you won't lose one. Are you keen? Yes, let's do it. Should we give it a go? Let's do it. Get it on. So, Ivy, you've got 60 seconds to choose six flies out of the two fly boxes. Can I really just appreciate my box, your box? On your marks. No, hold on. Okay. Get set. Yep. Go. I really want another one. Should never let uh, a woman pick something in 60 seconds. So I don't know, but I have a gnat, I have a small uh, little uh, caddis and I have some um, olive there as well, like different different patterns because we've seen a few um, olives come off the water so hopefully one of these bad boys will catch me a trout. 60 seconds, go. 20, 30, 40. Okay, so my selection on a similar lines to YB, I've got one little gnat there. It's really important. There's loads of gnats coming off. Three different sedges. I've gone a little bit bigger than IB. It's quite a useful place here to be able to skate them around a little bit and get them moving, particularly if there's nothing hatching. And then I've got two different types of olives there, on the, there as well. Large dark olives. That's what we've seen hatching so far. So I think between these six, I should have covered most bases. But I don't know. They're very different fly selections. So this could be really interesting. Okay, so that's the fly selection made. You feeling confident with yours? I don't know. Now I've seen yours and they're all massive. Hey, I could be totally wrong. I could be totally wrong. We'll see. Anyway, rules are really, really simple on this one. If you approach a rising fish and rise it and miss it, you give the rod to the other person. If you're blind fish in a pool and you don't catch anything, you give the rod to the next person without, without leaving the pool. So it's shot for shot, pool for pool. Seems like a very fair rules, Andy. Well, I'm going to be super fair and let you go first on this one since you've not fished for a while. So you've got the head start. You choose the first pool, find the first fish. Find the first fly. You're up. Great. <laughs> Let's do it. So we have seen the first rise, which is good for me, but the fish only risen once, which is, you know, it's not the best thing ever, but could be worse, there could be no rising fish. Since it hasn't risen again, I will still try and cover it. Um, I have tied a little olive on. I will try and cover it, see if the fish takes it. If not, we will just move along the river and try and find other rising fish, or at least try and support a fish.
Oh my god, I see, I saw the fish move and follow that. Yeah, big f***ing black shape. So no fish, I didn't catch anything. No fish is rising yet. I did cover that. This is like my first live rod cast since like last year, August, September, whatever. So I was a bit rusty. Once I got my casting back on track a little bit with some uh, tip from Andy, thank you very much. I've managed to get a follow from a fish. Like I've seen this great big shadow just come up and follow my fly a little bit. Obviously got a bit excited, but it didn't take it. And I haven't seen anything move since. Neither have you, did you? And it's turned now in the next pool. It warmed up. The wind has died a little bit, which should help hopefully. Uh, but you're still like, seeing a few olives hatching off the river. So there's still hope and it's your turn. Am I up? You're up. Sweet, let's get on him. Okay, so I've gone down the same route as I'd be actually with the flies, I've gone for an olive. Actually, I was really tempted to go with the sedge here because what I'm going to do is instead of doing what IB did, which was covering a rising fish, I'm just going to blind fish this riffle. It looks like the kind of area where you might find a few fish feeding while the sun's high. What I might do as I go further up and it gets a little bit more lumpy is possibly switch to the sedge. Just let that go down there to start with just in case. Okay, that'll do for that. That's fine. That's all right out there. Got him. First cast, there we go. All right, what have we done with that net? What have we got? Ah, oh, it's the wrong species. But IB's come and join me next to me. IB, do grayling count? No. No, grayling don't count? Well, you still have to pass the rod on to me. So I've caught the wrong species and I have to forfeit the rod? Yes. Damn it. Oh well, let's have a quick look at this guy. Just get my hands wet. Jeez, a few weeks ago, we have been quite pleased catching those all day. But as it is, he's going to have to go straight back. Aww. There you go, buddy. No, that's the wrong way. There we go. That's the river direction. IB, you're up. I am up. Well, if there's one thing you learn from fishing and living with that one in the background, it's that life ain't always fair. <laughs> Even though I've caught fish there with basically my first cast for the whole day. Unfortunately, because it's the wrong species, it doesn't count. This is a trout only competition. So IB has not only taken my fish off me, but she's also stolen my pool. I reckon she'll get one in here. Okay, so no more out of that pool. So I've come a little bit further down and while the pool behind me might look a little bit rough, that's kind of why I went for that very big, very buoyant caddis, is I think I can skate this around and even if there aren't many bugs hatching, by moving this around on the water, I might just be able to pull a take from really aggressive early season fish. We'll give it a go. Okay, so quite an aggressive pool this one. Lots of currents and a bit of power and speed and probably wouldn't be the first place you'd think of fishing dry flies, but it's not a bad spot just to skate a really buoyant one around, so that's the plan to start with. It's going through really quickly. Got him! Got him! Got him! Got him! Got him! Jeez, risking life and limb hanging off that tree, but... It drew the take, I thought it might. Really aggressive little rainbow. Woo! Come on, buddy. In you come. Come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on. There we go. IB, does that one count? Yes. <laughs> Am I allowed that one? That's really cool. Exactly what the Y is famous for. Beautiful little rainbow. Absolutely stunning fish. And 1 0 in the challenge. Should we get him back, Abby? Definitely. Sick!
So three pulls in and I be that's... One nil. Yeah, I'm a loser. <laughs> what can I say? No. Massive disappointment. I'm sorry, YouTube. I thought your casting was absolutely beautiful. I think I was very lucky to catch the one stupid one out of that pool. You talking about me now? <laughs> oh. You definitely aren't, Daft. What do you reckon we um, make our way upstream a bit? I want to try and find something that's out of the wind a little bit. That wind's a real pain, isn't it? But we'll go and find some more water, hopefully with a bit less ripple. Riffle? Ripple? Ripple. The, the, the riffle. Hopefully I can actually catch a fish. Just early doors. How are you feeling about your fly choice? I want the fly that you caught. Your fish. <laughs> that's what I want. Should we keep going? Yeah. Let's keep going upstream. Hell yeah, well you didn't panic. Oh. The trusted gilly. Oh no. <laughs> oh, rubbish. Just put him back. You sure? Yeah, 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 yeah. Don't want that grayling. Yours is a little bit bigger than mine. <laughs> That's what she said. So finally got off the mark, caught my first fish of the day. Not the right species again. Can someone please tell these fish when they're supposed to spawn, when they're supposed to feed? You would think there'd be a bit more action happening, a few more bugs hatching off, but reality is it's just not happening today. I'm seeing Andy now, he just hooked into a fish. That means I get a rod back, yay! I have a feeling it's another small rainbow. <laughs> Halfway through falling into the river when he ate that. Yeah, it is another little rainbow. Get in there. Well, I'm only covering the same places that I be covered, so I assume it's got something to do with the fly selection more than anything. I, I just said on the GoPro, I think that little orange tag on the back of this fly does something to these fish. It's no monster by any means, but it's another one of those gorgeous little wild Oh, and very lively. Why rainbows? He's not going to behave, is he? If this was IB holding him, he'd sit really still. <laughs> I think we'll get him back in because he's going to go... N yeah. <laughs> we'll give up on that one. Come on, buddy. Let's get you back. There he goes. IB, you're back in the game. You're up. Well, I don't feel like I'm doing too much different to IB, to be honest. Perhaps the, the fly selection might be key, but she's fishing the same kind of areas and she's fishing them really well. So, I don't know, the only thing I can put it down to is those flies. I'm pretty confident that as she goes through this pool, she'll probably pick up a trout this time. So another pool and another failure for me. And he's having a go now in another really nice looking riffly water so hopefully he catches something. But so far all I proved to myself is even though that I haven't fished the dry fly for such a long time I can still cast which is nice. Hopefully we get a few more fish. It is a half four at the moment. Watch the space. in the tree. It's official and I need to give up fishing because I still haven't caught anything. I did miss a take from a 99% 99% sure from a trout. You do have a grayling. You have yeah, caught something. It doesn't, it doesn't count. 
doesn't count. And then Andy just fished the pool as well and didn't catch anything. So I guess I'm not that bad. We're gonna crack on and try a bit more water. It's been tough, hasn't it? We haven't seen a whole lot of fly life. There's only tough. one rise all day. Uh, I haven't seen, have you seen any bugs over the water? I haven't seen anything at all lift up. At the same time last year, it was like, oh, nothing, nothing, nothing. And for five minutes, everything's happening. So unless you're on the water, you're not gonna know if it's happening or if it's not happening. So we will just do our best. We just need to keep fishing, don't we? We'll find one. Probably not me, but. Well, it's not going to be me, so I was hoping it was going to be you. <sighs> Come on, let's go and find some more. No, 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 no. It's a grayling. Sure? Little grayling. It's very wiggly. Trout don't love me anymore, which is very sad. I'm gonna go and uh, soak on my own. Well, that looks like that IB, and that's been really, really hard. That's dry fly fishing early season. Yeah, absolutely. It just hasn't really Tough. happened for us, has it? No. In fairness, we had four fish in like four hours. And out of those four hours, if you fished like two hours, because most of the time you just end up walking. So we can't really complain. And it is literally beginning of April, first week of April. The reality of today is, other than the fish that have risen to our flies, We've seen one rise all day. Yeah, one rise. That's the truth. So actually, we've, we've had more fish rise to our flies than we've seen rise at natural flies. To natural bugs. Which I think is a pretty fair reflection of how many bugs there's been today. We didn't get here till about half twelve, did we? And I just wonder whether we missed it. We could have missed it. Yeah, I wonder if we got here a bit too late. I'm not, I'm not really sure, to be honest. I was, given the weather conditions, it's been pretty pleasant. I'd, I'd have hoped for a bit more action than we had. Well, we're not the complaining time, so we're not going to complain <laughs> because we were outside and it was lovely and the weather was beautiful and we caught fish. I forgot how... Um, stinky little grayling are. <laughs> I think we're just glad we fished together Yeah, again. yeah, absolutely. Yeah, it was really, really nice to get out and fish together, wasn't it? I think that was the most important thing. We haven't fly fished together in, like, ages. A long, long ages, time, ages. long, long time. More than anything, not wearing waders. <laughs> Those magnets work pretty well, eh? Yeah. They're yeah. pretty cool things. It's a um, uh, mate of ours uh, came come up with this idea. And it's really, really cool. A company called Magnetite. We're not connected to them. We don't get anything from them. It's just a really interesting kind of modern take on a fly patch. You know, there's nothing worse than at the end of the day looking at your fly patch and realising that you've lost your favourite fly. And actually, these magnets are super strong and they're a little bit more grippy than your average magnet, I'd say. Look how cool that is. <laughs> it's really strong and my arm isn't that strong. You can hear the click. I don't want to get my fingers. It's really cool, honestly. Like, if I put the fly oh, on here, look, 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 look. So yeah, we'll leave a link in the description box to Magnetique. Really interesting idea. I know there's other plans as well, so I think that's pretty cool and it's something really, to look really out cool. for in the future. I think that about wraps it up. Thank you very much for watching the video. We really appreciate it. If you give it a like, that'd be really nice. <laughs> also subscribe because otherwise you don't love me. And that would be very sad. <laughs> yeah, don't upset you ever. That'd be very mean. And we'll catch you again on the next vlog whenever that is. See you later, guys. Take care, guys. Bye-bye.